Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our budget pre-con upgrades, looking at colorless upgrade cards now. So what is budget? For this video, I'm talking 75 cents or less. So very, very budget. I usually do a $2 max budget. This came in under 75 cents. A pleasant little surprise. I'm using the TCG market value, not a sponsor, not at all. Pre-con upgrades. So colorless cards are important to consider in every deck because they can go in every deck. They're not limited to a color identity as they do not have a color. Makes sense, right? These can be very useful for, for, for filling roles that are usually limited to other uh, card colors. So they basically, they're good for breaking the color pie. And that means just like some cards, uh, like green isn't supposed to be good at like um, counter spells. Some green cards do that. It's called the break of the color pie. It's uh, something that's usually supposed to be for blue and green can do it sometimes. Even red sometimes, right? Chipotle's trickery and kind of things like that. These are some of the most broadly useful cards and can probably be find a place in most decks. So here I'm looking at cards that can kind of go into anything, really. There's no really niche mechanics involved, I think. Number five, Warping Whale. This is one that I've recommended before. I'm just giving up on the whole, like, trying to avoid doing the same cards over and over because I've done over 200 videos, uh, usually five or more cards per video. Uh, I can't keep track of more than a thousand cards, but anyway. For one and a colorless. So this is kind of the one really important thing to keep in mind with this is that it does have to be paid with colorless. Usually you can pay anything and count as colorless. This is not, this is only colorless. So if you've got like soul ring, don't make two colorless. That's great, you're covered. But if you've got like a land that says make one, that does not work, all right? Any colored mana does not count as this colorless symbol. It does have to be a actual colorless mana. It needs that symbol. Anyway, so choose one exile target creature with power or toughness, one or less, maybe. And then I'm gonna skip down the last one, create a one one colorless Aldrazi Scion creature token. It has sacrificed this, add a colorless. That's actually quite nice because you've got a token and you can actually, uh, sacrifice it it does not require tapping so even if you've like tapped it for some reason you can still just sacrifice it whenever you want the main reason that it's on this list though is counter target sorcery spell sorcery might sound very very limited we have it for one specific purpose board wipes right you want to be able to counter a board wipe most board wipes are sorcery so yeah a lot of the more headache cards are um non-permanent cards are the sorceries. This will come in handy at some point, pretty much every game. Anyway, 63 cents. Number four. Blade, uh, Blade Griff Prototype. Okay, so this is five for a 3-2 flyer. Sounds not good start to start with, but whenever Blade Griff Pro Prototype deals combat damage to a player, destroy target non-land permanent of that player's choice that one of your opponent's controls. So they can't blow up something of yours, blow up any permanent, all right? So basically, especially in Commander, this is amazing, or any kind of multiplayer format, you can be like, hey, let this hit you, and then you get to blow up anything the, someone else controls. And then, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of like paying three life for removal, repeatable removal of their choice and a lot of times if it, you're targeting some, something someone else has you're gonna have the same problem right if they've got like uh Ristic study or something out you can just blow that up by attacking someone else so you're kind of doing them a favor by <laughs> getting damage through it's a really nice combination anyway 15 cents number three False Floor. Okay, this is four mana for an artifact. Excuse me. It enters the battlefield tapped. Creatures enter the battlefield tapped. All creatures, including yours. 
and you can pay to untap it. Exile False Floor. Exile all untapped creatures. Activate only as a sorcery. Basically, you just swing with everything you've got, right? And then you exile everything that's untapped. So yeah, any blockers, anything like that. Again, you can do this. This is an ability. You can do this at instant speed. So declare your attackers, tap your board, exile everything else. Hey, great. Or, yeah, ex all untapped creatures. Sorry, not everything else, just creatures. Anyway, this is really underutilized. I can't believe this is still only 47 cents. The first time I saw this card, I was like, oh, this is going to be like 5 to 10 bucks in no time. And, nope. Anyway, yeah. 47 cents only. Hmm. Number two. Moon Sliver, or uh, Moon Silver Key. I just did a video on slivers and I had to keep, stop myself from saying silver all the time. Now I need to say silver. <sighs> but anyway. For two mana is an artifact and you can pay one and tap it, sacrifice it to search your library for an artifact card with a mana ability or a basic land. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Okay, basic land to hand is not impressive. It's not. Any mana rock you want to hand, that can like make a huge difference in a game. It's uh, pretty amazing actually. Um, if you've got like Chromatic Lantern or something, any deck I have Chromatic Lantern, I want to get this because that's just your mana fixing done, right? Okay, and someone's got their car beeping. All right, there we go. I shut the window. I had the windows open because it's like the first cool day in Korea. Pretty much in two and a half months. And of course, someone's got their door left open now. So their car is like dinging at them to close it. Always fun. Always fun. Anyway, 74 cents for that one. Number one. Sculpting Steel. For three mana, this is an artifact. You may have sculpting, sculpting, blah, blah, blah. Steel enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact on the battlefield. Any artifact on the battlefield, not you control, just anything. You wanna make a copy of any artifact that your opponents have that's really handy? You got it. Just, really, this is something you can leave in your hand for a couple turns until you see something where it's like, oh, that's really good. I'll take one. And uh, yeah, all good. Anyway, three whole mana for that, and it is 26 cents only, which to me is crazy. 26 cents. The list. All right, here we go. Warping Wheel is 63 cents. Blade Griff Prototype is 15 cents. False Floor, 47 cents. Moon Silver Key is 74 cents, and Sculpting Steel is 26 cents only. Very low, low cost, and pretty much all of these have them on hand if you're gonna be deck building, because they are so useful. Anyway, take it easy.